In our last video, we used a subset to create more dynamic motion within a set. But now I'd like to take that one step further by using step timing and lower body movements to enhance the effect. So what we're going to do is have all of our performers, all of our horns, marching in half time up till this point where the back three lines will switch back to normal time and come into this final set. To do that, we'll select all of our horns, go into the Performance Detail tool, down to the bottom under the Lower Body tab, under Step Timing. We have a bunch of options, and we want to use Half Time. Moving forward to this subset, we want to revert our back three lines back to normal time. While our front three lines stay at half time. We'll see how that looks. Good. Now I'd like them to do something more interesting when they come into this set. So once again, select all of our performers. And on count zero of set four, which isn't actually written yet, we will add some lower body actions. So we'll use spread left, apply. And we can also play with the lower body facing to make it just a little more interesting. So now as they come into the set, we'll strike a pose and we can even add an upper body movement to raise their horns a little bit higher. Let's see how that looks.